And yeah, look at what happened in Eversoft. I don't know. I'm just talking out my ass right now. Well, no, I'm going to look it up. You're right. Okay. Um, me... But I am talking out my ass. You are talking out your ass. But and that's, that's okay. Fact. Assuming that Activision fucked them up is like a fair assumption always. No, I don't think so. I think Activision like... Oh, no. So, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I thought you were talking about Eversoft. Oh, due to internal conflicts, they canceled. Damn, bro. That is, that is really what, what basically happened. Um, mm -hmm. let's, let's read into it a little bit more. We are playing some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh, this is a new recording, right? Yeah. I'm Addison. I'm a nice jo John. He's John. He's John. <laughs> um, Boy, I fucked the whole thing up. This is Addison and John, right? Yeah, it's it Addison and John, bro. Wow. That's what we're calling it these days. That is what we're calling it. We got that cool ass logo and shit. We got yeah, the little yeah, cute, yeah. cute guys. Me, 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 me. That's our little fucking intro. <laughs> me, 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 me. You, you saw it. You saw it at the fucking top of the episode. You know what we should change it to? We should change it to meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yeah, meow. true, true. Yo, check out our fucking other playthrough on the side. <laughs> we played, <laughs> we played Dragon Ball. Um, what's who's your favorite pro skater? Um, in this game, Chad Muska. Who's your favorite guy? Uh, Boba Fett or from girl. uh from fucking Boba Fett's in in Tony Hawk Pro Skater Four. Is Django in Four? Sorry, you're right. Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. I Star definitely Wars said that fan. before too. Wait, I thought Rodney Mullen's in this game. Is he not in the first one? Or do you have to unlock him? Maybe? I don't know who the fuck Rodney Mullen is. Okay, dude. get out, get out, get out. Can you play as uh Andrew Reynolds? Sure. Thanks. I got you, bro. I'll go uh, monkey deck. I'll go monkey hmm. deck. All right, I haven't played this game in a while. I played the remake, and I love the fucking remake. I'm fucking pissed because... They should be making more soon. No, they're not, bro. No, they weren't going to, but then they, uh, they the fucking Activision Blizzard deal is about to be finalized. Um, and I, I do think... No, bro. No, I, I thought it was finalized a long time ago. And no, it hasn't been. It's going to be finalized by, I think it's October 6th or October 20th, one of the no, two. No, man, but the team that makes... The team that makes the fucking game, uh, Vicarious Visions, they got they got put on fucking the Diablo 2 remake and shit. Yes. And then they're defunct now. They're not together anymore. That's right. I'm sure all the developers, or the majority of them, or at least the leadership, are still at Activision Blizzard. And I guarantee when it's under new ownership, they're going to see how, number one, how passionate the fans were, and number two, how much Dude, money it made. Dude, the best-selling like, Tony Hawk game. I'm I know. They're gonna, about they're it. Gonna make, they're going to make more when Microsoft owns them. Genuinely. Yeah, okay. It would be a missed opportunity too, in my opinion. Well, I think I, I fucking agree. I but think I, they, I don't think they're gonna do it. I think they hate me. I think they're targeting me specifically. I mean, you might have to wait a few years until I it always happens. Always forget but... how this fucking game controls. By the way, like I, I always forget that it's got a little like Andrew Reynolds has a little bit of shit in his ass in this game. Oh, feels That's bad. what you gotta know. But it just controls a little bit jank. But you know, it's really good for like the times. You know. Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, if anything, it makes you feel more authentic. Yeah. Um, in any event, no, and I, I would guarantee that when they were developing one and two, do you know what engine it's in? I don't know what fucking engine they use now. My point is that Unreal they probably, I don't know. I guarantee they made the, they laid the groundwork for three. They probably ported because it's the same engine for one and two. They probably used the same engine for three and they probably just ported one of the maps and like finalized the maps to present it to leadership I with to like God. sales numbers. Mm -hmm. And then leadership was like, um, no, you're going to work on call of duty. I hope to God you're not just telling me sweet nothings and you're giving me actual hope that they're going to make fucking Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD uh, th three, 3 and 4 or whatever. I mean, do you want to... The boxes! No! Do you want to Do you want to hear what... Um, I'm sorry, excuse me. Do you want to hear what happened to Neversoft? I do want to hear what happened to Neversoft. What happened to Neversoft? Uh, Neversoft was in a video game developer based in Woodland Hills, California. It well, was founded duh. by blah, 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 blah. Doesn't really matter. But it was acquired by Activision, most uh -huh. importantly, in October 1999. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, as the studio grew, it died officially in July 2014 um, when it was merged with Infinity Ward. And before being merged with Infinity War, they went from the Tony Hawk series to the Guitar Hero series. And then after the Guitar Hero series, guess what they worked on from 2011 to 2014? Uh, what? Call of Duty. Motherfucker. So in, in any event, it's just... Yeah, I think you forgot how long my name was, bro. Joan. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just put N? You could just put N. Can't. In any event, um, 
they got they got absorbed by by Activision Blizzard and then they got pushed into Call of Duty just like everything else. So I guarantee when the leadership changes, it would be a missed opportunity, especially since they're moving Call of Duty to a bi yearly basis. Mm-hmm. Um, so they won't have to devote as much manpower to it, right? They they can have them work on more fun things. They'll probably get Toys for Bob back to make Crash Five. I fucking Frankly, hope, but I, they just they just hate making money and they hate like appealing to me specifically. I feel that's like. they actually have a vendetta against you. They have it out for me. Like I swear to God, bro. If anyone, if any former uh, NeverSoft studio developers want to mm. come on the no, show, no, it's for vicarious an visions. It's vicarious visions. No, but I'm, we're talking about NeverSoft from this game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never well, no, like I, I, they, they've been like not worked on like Tony Hawk in a while. I, I, I actually like the vicarious visions dev a lot, like dev team a lot, because they, they have tried other teams to you know make. Uh, Tony Hawk, but mm. none of them, none of them can cook as, mu- as much, you know. Let's look up the vicarious visions. Um, Vicar- in case you weren't like aware, by the way, um, is there no manualing in this fucking game? Fucking John, might not be, you John know? is playing the game. I, I'm so dog shit at fucking Tony Hawk that it's not <laughs> even funny. I think I, I got all the goals in this level. Um, oh yeah, the, the goals are tapes in this game, even though there's a secret tape also oh nice um i think we're just gonna beat the game in like one sitting to be honest with you i think that's our that's our goal here sounds good also by the way vicarious visions is technically still alive Mm -hmm. um it merely changed its name according to wikipedia oh i hope to god that's true also bro so apparently they were merged in april 2022 and were just renamed to blizzard albany oh that would be so nice nice big if true you know you ever heard that I have heard that several times, actually. Big if true. Um, and if I look... What do you think about this one move being called the sex change? I don't even know how I did dude, it. Dude, that's, that sounds like it's a problematic term inside of a uh, fucking 2023. Yeah. Not a, not a huge fan of it. You're going to get us our first uh, <laughs> our first questionable, you know, sort of reevaluation in yeah, about yeah, 10 yeah. years. One of many to come, you know? I mean, if they pull up, if they pull up the first joke, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We remember that. We remember the first joke we ever made on this show. Yeah, it's fucked up, bro. Can you remind me? Uh, yeah. yeah. So it went a little bit like. Cool. Do you know? Wait, no. What? SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottoms on GameCube, or I'm sorry, Game Boy. Yeah, there's a Game Boy port, but it's not really. You know, it's, it's nothing like you remember it. What is it? A 2D platformer? Yeah, I think so. I'm I'm almost really interested in trying that. You wanna you wanna try some like bad? Uh, oh, did Vicarious Visions do that? Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Vicarious Visions um, before like you know the Tony Hawk and everything, and before like the Crash Bandicoot remaster, they were doing like um, ports of games on the not like the console that's not the main console that they're probably selling for. Yeah, you know what was also on the um, on one of their port lists? What's that? Shrek Two. Shrek 2, baby. What, Shrek, for the Game Boy Advance? For the Game Boy Advance. Dude, I remember that. I love that game. It's Dude, a really maybe, good port. It's a maybe, 2D platformer also. Maybe that's the one where you get to, like, select the character when you beat the game. No, nope, it's actually... There's even less reason for you to be able to select the character because there's, um... What's it called? There's, like, puzzle sections, and then the characters have very specific abilities that they can use. Kind of yeah. same as the game, like GameCube thing, but a little bit different because it's, like, a oh, 2D platformer. That's lame. I don't know if I have to do all the objectives. Did I do all the... No, I did. I missed two objectives here. So you got to keep doing it. Grind five tables. Get skate. Get skate. Yeah, that was the other one that I didn't do. Um, oh, I fucking forget where skate is in this map, though. Okay, so Vicarious Visions worked on the Insane Trilogy, Destiny 2, which I didn't know about, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, and yeah. then Call of Duty and Diablo after that. Oh. Um, the Diablo 2 remake, right? Uh, Yeah, Diablo 2 Resurrected. I didn't, However, hear, I didn't hear anything about that game, by the way. Here we go. Canceled games. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 Plus 4. I guarantee they still have that shit, and it's going to come out within... I might I might say within a year and a half of them being officially acquired. Brother, I hope to God that you're right, but... I, I think that's going to be... I, I might put like $100 on that. I feel like that's a pretty comfortable bet. They already have the, the skeleton for it, dude. I will kiss you if true. Um... <laughs> I mean, Why is he quiet? I, I'm, okay, I'm okay with that. All right, sounds good. No, I'm just thinking about the logistics of it. I'll kiss you live on camera. They're gonna kick out Bobby. I'm pretty sure they're kicking out Bobby this Bobby the second that the uh, fucking who the fuck is Bobby? Bobby Kodak, the current CEO. Oh, okay. The one who prioritizes fucking 
Call of Duty above all else because it makes money. Yeah. Which, you know, I get, but I also... Bl- I, I don't blame them. Keep keep the creative visions alive because then, then it's more fun for both the players and the devs who get yeah. to work on something they're passionate about. Fuck Call of Duty, you know? Make that shit bi-yearly. And mm. then it can actually have a real esports life. Yeah. In all, in all honesty. Fucking there's, a, there's a big audience for... Um, Call of Duty that says that Warzone actually killed it a little bit. I've seen that. Yeah, there's, that's yeah. A, there's like a little bit of a movement situation. Where I was, think that's a good take. Yeah, I think the battle royale genre has 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 had its heyday, and I think by trying to make other things battle royales, you're just gonna end up like degrading the quality of what you're trying to uh, mm-hmm. enjoy. I don't think I'm getting the rest of these tables. I think, dude, come on, you got so, uh, ten seconds. Nah. Well, so the, the cool thing is that in other Tony Hawk games, you can. Uh, I already got that one. Dude, eh, I'll, I'll stick with the four objectives. You know what? No, we got to get all of them. We're beating the game. You want to get all objectives? We're beating the game, <sighs> aren't game. we? You just said that. Yeah, yeah, but but we're not hundred percenting it. Oh well, I thought if if we're beating all the objectives and all the levels, don't we have to hundred percent it? We're not beating all the objectives on all the levels. We're just beating the game. Then how do well, I don't understand? Do you only have to do a certain amount of objectives to uh Really? Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do all the objectives. Oh well then fuck it. Leave the yeah. level. Alright. Well the the earlier levels are actually easier. Like it's probably better just to do like this to be So honest. it's like a it's almost like a Super Mario sixty four esque setup. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to do every single objective. You, you just, just have, have to, to do enough to unlock the last competition. You have to get the mini the mini the stars to unlock the doors to the next level. Precisely. Interesting. But instead of that, you don't have to do any of that. 